Hi everyone, this is Laura from Purple Phoenix Games, here to give you a little rundown tutorial on how to use um, the Hero Forge website platform to create your own uh, mini for your RPGs. Um, so you pull up the Hero Forge website and over on the left hand side, it's showing us all the different things that we're going to be able to customize. Um, but the first thing we're starting with is the species. So right now, you know, it's just defaults to a male human. Um, it has tons of different species over here. It'll give you a little description of each one. They have all your standard um, D and D and like Pathfinder species, um, but they also have some other ones that I had not really heard of before. Like, let's look at this anthro canine. And give it a second to load. There we go. So yeah, it just gives you, you know, the male and female option of whatever you want to select. Um, I'm gonna keep it a little more standard and I'm just gonna go with a male elf. Okay. So moving on to our next section, we have the head, all these different elements of the head we are going to get to customize. So I'll zoom in here so we can look at the face. Oh, too much. Um, so you can choose, you know, the different types of faces, different face shapes with different features. Um, I think I'm going to pick this guy. You know, you can then scroll down. Oh, see all the different types. You know, it gives you some templates, I guess, to start for what type of face you want. You know, the different creature faces, so on and so forth. Um, and then you can adjust the softness of it to really round out some of those edges, but I like that hard jawline, so I'm going to leave it as it is. So moving on to our next step, we get ears. So he's got some standard elf looking ears right now. Um, I can scroll down, pick some canine ears. Let's see what those look like. Ooh, yeah. Interesting look, but not quite what I'm going for. So let me come back up here. And I think I'll choose elemental ears. I like the nice pointed effect there. Awesome. So moving on to our next choice, we get hair. So you can choose, you know, if you want a mohawk or, you know, do you want some pigtails? You really can go wild with what type of hair you want. Here's like some anime hair. What I'm gonna stick with though is this flame-like hair. Looks pretty sweet to me. So that's what I am going to pick. Moving on, beard or facial hair. I personally am a fan of the handlebar mustache, but not quite the vibe that I'm going for. So let's see what else I can come up with. Um, that looks pretty good. Nah. Chin warmer. Ooh, yeah, I like that effect. Awesome. So now I'll move on to eyebrows. You can have standard eyebrows, pierced eyebrows, a scarred eyebrow, but I think the bushy eyebrow really goes with the, the hair effect I've got going on. And then eyes. You can pick just regular, you know, like humanoid eyes. If you want like bulging alien eyes. Or if you want some robotic eyes, but I think I'm going to keep them fairly humanoid. Teeth. Here, I'll zoom in some more to the teeth. They're not as easy to see, but you can see a little bit inside there. What kind of teeth you can get going on here. I think I'll go with the articulated teeth because, I don't know, I like seeing what he's got there. You can move on to horns. 
You can choose if you want horns like on the side of the head, on the front, you know, one horn. Do you want like a mohawk type horn? Let's see what this looks like. That one you can't really tell because he's got hair. You can give him a snake hood like a cobra. But yeah, you just select or deselect what you do or do not want. Take a look at them, see how they look, decide if that's what you want. And go from there. Um, let's see what kind of horns we got here. If you ever want to, instead of deselecting something, there's a little trash can icon that you can just click on in each section and it'll get rid of things. Let's see what these half demon horns look like. Ooh, those kind of take up a little too much of his face. I think I will leave him without horns because the hair is a cool effect as it is. Um, so now I am done with the head part. So now I move on to body. So this is where you can pick, you know, kind of what type of body you want them to have. Do you want it to be humanoid? That's what it is right now. I can pick it to be skeletal, which is a cool effect in itself. You know, I can pick an animal-like torso. It gives you some of those like beast elements, but I think I'm gonna keep him humanoid. Um, if you move on to this next section down here, you can choose different arms. Um, but one cool thing about it is that you can select the arms individually. So let's say I want to give my guy, let's say he's missing an arm. I can do that, you know? Or what I think I'll do is I'll give him this blazing arm. That seems like it'll be pretty cool. Just one arm, I could do both. But I think I'll just leave the one. Same thing down here with the legs. You can choose the different types of legs. I can pick robotic legs if I want, you know, or here are some lizard-like legs. I think I'll stick with humanoid though. And again, as with the arms, I can choose different legs or bandages if I want um, for each individual leg. He could be missing part of a leg if you want him to. You can have a skeletal leg. I think that's a cool looking effect. So I think I'm gonna leave the skeletal leg. Moving on to measure. This is where you can customize like the size, you know, change the height of your mini. I'll make them um, five, seven is fine. You know, you can change the scale of the head. Do you want it to be huge? Do you want it to be proportional? You know, the weight gonna be a bigger guy is gonna be super skinny I think it'll be somewhere in the middle posture this one if I turn to the side you can really tell you know he's got pretty decent posture here if I move it down he's got that hunch all the way up he's super straight I think I'll have him mostly straight up looking back front on build you know do you want him to be a super beefy guy. I don't think I want him that beefy. I think I'll leave him maybe a little more. There you go. You can change the proportion of the upper body. Do you want it to be bigger than the lower body? You know, really changing some of that scale there. You can adjust the length of the arms if you, for some reason, need longer arms. Muscularity. I think I'll make him kind of a muscular dude. The bust, waist, belly curves. You can give him a booty if you want. That one's kind of funny to see. Watching that booty go out and back in. I think those ones I'll leave pretty standard because I like the humanoid type build that I've got on him. Moving on to our next section, you can choose wings. If you want wings for your character, they have all these different, there are some enormous wings marked with our XL. 
Or if you scroll down, you can just get some standard wings. Ooh, these mechanical wings look pretty cool though. So I think that's what I'm gonna choose for this guy. And you can pick a tail. Mm, let's try this one, a lizard tail. That looks pretty cool. And another neat thing about the tails is you can pick how many tails you want. So let's say I want him to have two tails. Let's say I want him to have seven tails. You know, I think one tail is good enough, but you can have multiple tails if you would like. Then any extras, you could get a turtle shell or spines on your back or like fins on your legs or on your arms. That's something that I think I'll leave off though because I think he's got enough going on right now. The next section moving to is clothing. So this section is broken into a couple different things. This top one here is outfit, which gives you a lot of pre-generated outfits, which you are welcome to choose and use if you would like. Like, look, maybe I want him to be a chef. That's an interesting look. Um, so you can pick pre-generated outfits if you would like, or you can just go one by one, work your way down the body to customize it yourself. So starting with the head, you can pick all these different um, headdresses or helms, headbands, you know, all sorts of crazy stuff. I like his hair, so I'm going to leave that there so we can really see it. Shoulders, you can put some, you know, shoulder armor elements on if you would like. I'm just going to skip down to the chest. Um, so you can pick pretty much. They have lots of different themes here. Like here's just a, a fancy-ish looking shirt. Um, maybe I want him to wear this uniform looking top. You know, that looks pretty neat. A nobleman's doublet. You know, there's just a lot of options. You just have to find what kind of vibe you are going for with your character. Um, and that's just, you pick what you want. I think I'm going to go with this double-breasted vest and tie. Because it makes him look kind of fancy. But yeah, there's a lot of modern things as well as some um, like fantasy type clothing. Um, so moving on, you can give them gloves if you want. Uh, I don't want to do that because I like seeing the elemental hand and the other hand is fine. Um, so I'll leave those off for now. Legs, moving on to legs. Same thing, I can give them swim trunks if I want. I can give them leather pants. Let's scroll down and see what other options we got here. Got some skirts. And yeah, some... Again, it just depends on what kind of vibe you're going for with your character. I think I am going to pick mm, futuristic street clothes. Nope, no pajamas. Ooh, mariachi pants. Cool, I think that goes kind of with the, the top he's got going on there. Moving on to feet, you can give them shoes if you want. Again, you know, some classic fantasy type shoes, or they even got sneakers if you want. But I think I'll leave them barefoot so you can see the skeletal foot, because I think that's a cool, cool look. Um, and again, you can pick a, a face mask if you want on your character. I don't want one because I want to be able to see his face. Next category down is gear. So 
you'll see that there are a lot of things that you can have for gear. So you can carry things in your hands, your tail can carry something, you can carry things at your hip, on your back. Um, so we'll just start with hands. So why don't we start with our right hand. Um, I think I want to give him a slingshot in his right hand. Yeah. And for the other hand, let's try to find like a cool sword. Ooh, the Kopesh. Excellent. That's pretty sweet. Okay. Awesome. Do I want him to hold anything in his tail? Let's see what he can hold in his tail. Let's give him a long sword. <laughs> so yeah, he can hold something in his tail. I'm not going to make him because I don't want to. Um, let's see what he is going to wear at his side. You know, he could have a pouch. He could be wearing a weapon at his side. Gonna take that off. I think what I want him to have at his side is he'll have a beer bottle. Just for when he's thirsty. The back of your character, you can have them wear um, a cloak or a cape if you would like. I'm not gonna do that so we can see the, the wings and the tail. You can also give them like a backpack if you want, but same thing, I'm gonna leave that off of mine because I wanna be able to see the wings and the tail. Back items is for carrying things on your back, kind of like we had at our side. Moving on to eyes, eyewear. Let me scroll back around here and come up. So you can give them all sorts of goggles, sunglasses. Um, I think I wanna give them a monocle though, because to me, that's pretty sweet. The mouth, again, you can give them, you know, a cigar, some sorts of face masks if you want. I don't want to have that because I want to see his face. And rings. You can pick rings on whichever hand and whichever fingers you want. So let's give him just a standard ring on his right pinky there. And then piercings. You can give them ear piercings, nose piercing, belly button piercing, but I think I'm going to, to leave him piercing free. Moving on to our next category, we have stage. So that has to do with the base. So you can come over here and, you know, choose if you want any extra little things on the base. Like I can put a die on the back of the base there. Or maybe I'd put a boombox. He wants to jam some, so he just wants that. But nope, I'll just leave my base nice and straightforward. A ride, this is if you would like a mount for your mini. So you just pick whatever mount you want. It looks pretty sweet. They put your character on it. I think I will leave him mount free though. For the base, this is the actual design of the base. Do you want it to just be a standard? Do you want it to be like tiles, bamboo, textured, some sort of thing? You can pick a square, a hex, a circle. I think I'll just keep it on the round base. The rim, you can have it drop off, have that hard edge there or be more rounded. I think I'll have the hard edge. Um, the label, this is if you want to put something on the bottom. Um, I'll put my own text. I will put PPG, Purple Phoenix Games. Sweet. So that looks pretty awesome. Um, and yeah, moving on, our next thing is our pose. So how do you want your character's body to be posed? You know, maybe you want him hi -ya, kicking out to the side. Or maybe you want him to be you know, getting ready to, to fight. He's ready to pounce. Or one of my personal favorites to see 
is prone because I just think that looks pretty funny. Um, but I think I'm just gonna leave them standard. Um, he can just come at me, bro. That's the pose that he will do. Awesome. Now I can really customize the facial expression. So they give you some uh, basically starting points up top, like let's give them a cocky expression. That might be a little too cocky, so I'm gonna back off on the cockiness. And let's give them a little more of a smile. You can make them confused, you know, arg opens the mouth. I think that's good. The eyes, you can have them looking different directions if you want. And advanced is that you can move individual asp like elements on their own. So let's say I will come over to the Kopesh here. I can twist it to see, like I can position it in different ways, but I'm pretty happy with how he's set. So I am going to leave him as is and move on to our next section, color. So for color, it's going to start by giving you some starting points, some color starting points. Let's give this a second to get loaded up here. So you have body, theme, decals, paint, mix, etc. So the, for the body, it's going to give you basically like a generic starting point for your creature's body. Um, so I'm going to pick this one because I like that hair color and it's cool color of the wings and I like the elemental arm. So I think that's my good um, starting place. So moving on to theme, this is what gives you, you know, a starting place for your outfits. So you can pick whatever different colors you want. This one I'm drawn to though, so I think I'm gonna go with this purple chaos one, because that just looks awesome. Decals, this is if you want, um, you know, some sort of, I guess I'll call them like face paint sort of things or birthmarks um, on your mini. I'm gonna leave those off because I don't want those on his body, but I will give him some color streaks in his hair. Oh, some blood stains if you want. Uh, I think I will leave those off. I want him to be a nice upstanding gentleman. So then if you come down to paints here, you can pick the different textures that you're looking for. Um, and you can individually change the colors of different parts of your outfit. So here I just picked this keen aubergine. Now let's change his pants, make them that color. Um, why don't we look at... Ooh. Let's look at the tail. The tail is going to be some sort of leathery type texture. So why don't I make the tail purple? Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Awesome. Um, let's see what fire colors we have. Ooh, I'll change his belt to be this yellow color. Nope, right on the belt. That's what I want there. Awesome. Um, let's do metal. Ooh, tornado of coals. Ooh, that's cool. Let's make the blade black. Awesome. And then again, you can go and you can mix your own different colors um, to create your own combinations there. 
but I think he's he's looking pretty sweet as it is right now so that's where I think I will leave it um so yeah this just shows you how easy and simple it is to to customize a mini on Hero Forge. Um, so I actually am gonna put in an order for this mini that I created. I might go back and tweak a couple things, but basically it's gonna be the same as I walked through here um, with you. And when I get it shipped, I will do a follow-up post about you know how it looks when it got here, does it look like what I created, so on and so forth. So yeah, keep a lookout for that follow-up post coming up, and I hope you enjoyed seeing how easy Hero Forge is to use. Thanks, guys.